Hello world, lockpicking dev here. I have a Harley Davidson motorcycle padlock. This is a master number 220. As you can see, it is rekeyable. I'm gonna try to pop the sucker open out here. We just finished a hike. As you can see, good view in the back. Let's finish it with an open. As you can see, my hands are already a little bit shaky, so we'll see how this goes. I think that was four. It looks like it was five. I'm feeling for something here. There we go. I feel like we got two up there. It feels stiff, but it's not giving anything. There's two. There's three. There we go, there's three. So I did a over set and three there. Okay, there's three. Good. Sure. 
yeah, one feels fine. Back in the back. And there we go. We got a nice little open. As you can see, you got a nice little view. Pick you up and give you a look around without without dying here. Say hello. Marmot Pass. The birds are trying to steal your shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go, everyone. And I will get home and disassemble this thing for you and show what else is inside. All right, everyone, I'm back home. Now, uh, let's get this thing opened up and show y'all what's inside. Before I get going, let's, I want to congratulate uh, Brian Vientos for winning the game false set challenge lock drawing from uh, the challenge lock for video 43. That was my first challenge lock I got to pick on a video, so you'll get to be next. Have fun. <laughs> So now, on with this lock. This is a master number 220 again. And something about this lock is you can't move the shackle without turning the key. You also can't close the shackle without turning the key. I'm going to show you what's inside. that out. Oh, there's the anti-bypass wafer that I put in it. So here's the core holder that slides in there. Holds the core right here. And we'll disassemble that in just a second. Or we'll gut that in just a second. And then this piece right here fits down in here. Let me get a flashlight here. There we go. So you can see how it fits in there. These two nubs right here go in those two top holes right there, the actuator in the center, and a big fat spring on the side. Let's get this gutted and show everybody what's inside. Again, I said that uh, I initially picked this and uh, keyed it myself. This was a lock I received from Mackenzie Ferrari, the maker of the challenge lock from video 43. Uh, this is the key I made. I never intended on picking this again. Uh, I was actually just going to make it a nice, badass lock. And, well, it's like, hey, I haven't picked this on video, so I left it the way it is. So we got some good bidding. I'll show you the pens inside. That's five pins. Nice and neat on here. Oop, get back over there. All right, put the key up here too. Okay, so you see the bidding along with the pens here, and on the bottom, there we go. We have all serrated key pins except for the highest one here. It's all serrated. At the top we have a spool, a spool. Serrated, serrated, and another spool. Again, this was the Master Lock number 220. Nice little funky built lock. I haven't quite seen something like that. Five pins, Harley Davidson, unique itself. Cool little lock. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.